teachers! In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to do a basketball themed day with your students. If you're new here, hi, my name is Melody Munch and I make resources for elementary school teachers. I taught second grade myself for the past eight years and doing themed days like this were my absolute favorite. I love how engaged learners are the entire day and how it makes some really fun core memories for the class. This is a theme I've been wanting to make for so long because it's perfect for the end of the year and especially for the end of March with March Madness. We're gonna talk through how every single bit of this day would work starting with what materials you need. I love this day because it's very simple. All you really need are the basketball themed activities that I'm going to show you. But if you want to add an extra layer of excitement, I would add some tablecloths. That would be the first thing you could add. Amazon has some really cute actual basketball themed ones or basketball court ones that I will link in the description. But orange tablecloths from Dollar Tree would also work great. Or if your school has orange butcher paper, I have seen many teachers draw a basketball court on orange butcher paper and that can make a really cool effect. There are lots of extra items that can create buy-in for your students by just getting them in the feel of the basketball theme, but don't stress out about them because none of them are actually necessary to do this day. And if you do this day over years, you keep doing it, you can slowly add a few things each time and then you can reuse a lot of the items like the tablecloths or if you buy foil balloons instead of regular balloons, there are a lot of good options for things like that on Amazon. I also recommend including your classroom families and seeing if they would like to contribute an item for this day. You can make a sign up genius for this or an Amazon wish list. Another great item you could ask a classroom family to contribute would be a snack. There are endless options for fun basketball themed snacks. We're talking orange Gatorade. I have some oranges where you can draw the basketball lines. That's a really inexpensive option. Or you could buy some cute basketball cups and fill them with any snacks such as popcorn. Another thing you can do to set the mood is play basketball themed music, especially at the start of the day when students are entering the room. I have a free playlist I will link in the description if you want to use that. One last way you can set the mood for this theme is by dressing the part. I'm just in some athletic gear, I've got some athletic joggers on, some tennis shoes, and an athletic shirt. Dressing like a coach, or if you have a basketball player, you could wear a basketball jersey or even a referee jersey. If your PE teacher happens to have scrimmage jerseys, you could ask to borrow those and students could wear those over their clothes as some way for them to feel like they're on the basketball team. But again, that's totally optional. Now let's get into the actual basketball themed activities. When students enter the room, I have that music playing. I have my basketball themed welcome slide on the board and it would introduce them to their first task. I love starting off with something really simple and fun so that students have plenty of time to be chatting with one another and just build that excitement for the rest of the day. Nothing that would be too taxing right off the bat. We just want them to have fun and get into the theme. Some fun options for morning work include having students do a coloring page. I love having them start with this and then I like to staple it to a construction paper folder. So for this day, I would use a big piece of orange construction paper. You just fold it in half and then it becomes a little folder where they can store all their papers for the entire day. I also have a place for them to put their name on the front so it's easy to keep track of whose folder belongs to who. Another great morning work choice is having students design their own basketball jersey. They could design a jersey of a team they would love to be on or a team that they support, or it could be a team of their complete imagination with colors and drawings that just represent things that they love. A word search is also a great morning work option. This gets their brains thinking 
and often they can save the word search for throughout the rest of the day if they finish a task early. That's why I love having those basketball folders at the start of the day so that anything they wanna come back to later, it's easily accessible inside their folder and they can quickly pull it out and continue working on it. The last morning work option is a basketball themed hat. These are so cute and there is a spot for students to put their name because I know they might not wanna wear it all day long, especially when they go out to recess. These are super fun and come in a color and black and white option in case you want students to color them in themselves. After morning work, I'd have the students clean the court with the countdown timer that's on the slides. And then we'd all come to the carpet for our normal morning meeting time. In this time, we usually do our announcements for the day. We go over the calendar and we do a greeting. Of course, we have to do some kind of basketball themed greeting. So I included a dribble hello so that they could pretend to be dribbling as they greet one another. After that, we do any normal morning work meeting lesson that we had going. In March, I usually do a sportsmanship unit. So that ties in perfectly with this theme as well. Next, we'd move on to grammar where we would sort our basketball words into noun and verb hoops. Students will need scissors and glue to do this sort. And one thing I love about this whole resource is that all of the text is editable. So if your students are not working on nouns and verbs, but maybe they're working on a certain phonics skill that you want them to be sorting, you could turn this into any other kind of sort activity by changing out the wording. Moving into writing, students would pick one of the opinion prompts to answer with a writing paragraph. Some of the prompts include questions like, is basketball the best sport? And should basketballs be a different color? I have a feeling a lot of my girls would love to answer that one. There's several prompts included. And again, you can switch the prompt in the resource by editing the text in the PowerPoint. After writing, I'd probably let a handful of students who wanted to share their answers come up to the front of the room to share their writing with the class. And during that time would be perfect to include a snack. So I would probably have the basketball cuties and maybe one other item depending on what I could get a family to donate. For math, students would complete some scoreboard problems on the board as a whole class. And then we would do our scoreboard scoot. There are 16 different problems on scoreboards, scoreboards that I would place around the room and students would take the recording sheet and travel to each problem to solve it. There are already three pre-made versions of this activity in the product, one for simple addition, one for addition with regrouping and one for multiplication. But as always, you can switch out the numbers in the scoreboards to your liking. After the scoreboard activity, we would probably check our answers as a class, or I would check their answers as they finished, and then they could go on to do another one of their activities that they hadn't finished from earlier in the morning. For social studies, we'd watch a video from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Mystery Doug, and it's all about how basketball started. Students would fill out their clipboard with basketball facts as they listen to the video. And I would likely pause it and write the answers on the board so that they could fill in the blanks. Now it's time for reading. And if you've already been doing a March Madness reading bracket, this will tie in perfectly with that. If you haven't, it still works just as great. You're gonna select two books for this activity. They could be basketball themed, but again, they don't have to be. If you're wanting to do a basketball theme, here are two books that I recommend. Salt in His Shoes, which is about Michael Jordan, and The Boy Who Never Gave, Gave Up, which is about Stephen Curry. This book is a little bit long though, so you might consider splitting this up and reading one book earlier in the day and the other book later, or you could have even read them days apart. However you wanna do it, Students will have a packet to track which book is their favorite. So when you're reading the first book, they're gonna draw a picture of that book's cover and write one thing they liked about that book. We'll do the same thing for the second book. And then after both books have been read, they're gonna give those books a score out of 10. 
So they fill out the face-off page where they score the books, and then they go to the final score page where they name the winner, and they write the final score once again. After this, I think it would be so fun to go around and see which book won from your class's overall perspective. You could choose to either add up the individual scores for each book, but that would take a little while, or you could just keep a tally mark on the slide to see which book more of the class preferred. Now it's time for the last activity of the day, which is the Build a Hoop STEM Challenge. Students will absolutely love doing this. They can work in groups or you can have them work alone. Every group gets the same materials and they have a certain amount of time on the board to complete the challenge. Their goal is to build a hoop out of their materials and then to use their basketball, which is a ping pong ball, to bounce and make a hoop after it's completed. If you have time, you could even have the students face off against each other and see who can make the most hoops in their basket during a set amount of time. Keep in mind that these are really fun and everyone's going to want to take it home, so you'll wanna have some sort of plan in place for how you are going to decide who gets it. In my class, we usually stick with rock, paper, scissors, or you could decide that nobody takes it home, but you give each group the directions that are included in the activity so that they could ask their families to gather the supplies and make their own at home. To finish out the day, we would gather as a class to reflect on our favorite moments and the class would clean the court one last time. I think this day is going to be an absolute slam dunk for your students, and I hope that you will give it a try and let me know if you do. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.